The last four times we went out together, a bird shot on me. It must be your fault. Whenever I catch a cold, I stay home and mostly watch TV and eventually I get better. It means that watching TV is a great cure for a common cold. What do you think about these statements? Aren't they ridiculous? They represent a kind of fallacy, an error in reasoning which people often commit called correlation proves causation, also known by this Latin term, which means with this, therefore because of this. It's committed when two factors occur together and we conclude that one of them caused the other. This conclusion can be wrong, or at least just partially correct, because it's just one of several possibilities. There are several possible causal relationships between two correlated factors. I've put these new socks on four times so far, and each time I won a lottery. These socks are lucky. Are they? No, it was just a coincidence. Sometimes such things happen. With so many things happening around the world, unexpected correlations are bound to happen, somewhere, sometime, as you can see on these graphs. The warmer clothes people wear, the more often they slip on pavements. Therefore, warm clothing causes people to slip on pavements. This is obviously not true. Both factors result from winter conditions. They result from a common cause, but do not cause each other. Another example is that while a decreasing size of a given predator's population can be caused by a decreasing size of its prey's population, both also can be caused by an increasing size of population of some other predator that eats both. This kind of relationship is one common characteristic with the previous relationship. There is no causal link from A to B or from B to A. I've noticed that in the summer people drink a lot of water and at the same time they are thirsty. So it must mean that the drinking water causes thirst. This is obviously not true. It's the thirst that causes people to drink more water. B causes A. Another relationship, A causes C, which causes B, is especially interesting. Even if A does not directly cause B, it often can be said, without committing a fallacy, that A causes B, but only indirectly and often we can introduce indirectness to direct relationship between A and B if we look in more detail at how A causes B and notice intermediate steps. This is relevant, for example, when we need to put a blame on someone for some unwanted result. Let's say that a government raised tax on alcohol with hopes of profit growth, but raised it too high and it actually caused profits to decrease because, let's say, people started to buy alcohol somewhere else or buy it illegally. Technically, you can say that it's not the government's fault, because it's not the increased tax that caused the decrease in profits, but the fact that people stopped buying the taxed alcohol. But since it's not exactly unpredictable that too great increase in taxes can lower demand on the taxed alcohol, then it actually isn't a fallacy to say that the profit decrease was caused by the government's decision. Another type of causation is bidirectional or cyclic causation, A causes B and B causes A. It occurs between factors that interact with each other and influence one another. For example, in a predator-prey relationship, predator numbers influence prey numbers, but prey numbers also influence predator numbers. This kind of relationship often occurs between people. For example, when two people hate each other and harm each other, then it can be a bidirectional relationship, a cycle of revenge when action on one side provokes reaction on the other side, which provokes reaction on the first side, and so on. It's a characteristic of some heated long-term conflicts between nations, countries, like for example, between Israel and Palestine. This kind of relationship can be extended if, for example, some other factor starts this causal cycle. For example, when a conflict between two sides was provoked by a third side. And finally, the direct causation A causes B. As you can see, it's just one of several possibilities. So, why do we often jump from learning about correlation to concluding causation? One reason is that it's easy. Human brains are excellent at pattern recognition and can easily see even completely accidental patterns and conclude that there must be some relationship involved. We may assume that correlation between A and B is a result of causation if we have some prior assumptions about it. 
it can trigger confirmation bias that prompts us to choose the option that confirms our prior assumptions. And we can have prior assumptions also when we are emotionally invested in A or B, or some issue that is connected to them. For example, if we dislike a person A who is connected to a bad consequence B, then we can easily and eagerly, without any deeper analysis of the situation, conclude that A caused B. In this case, this fallacy is a result of motivated reasoning, and its purpose is to validate what we already think and feel about A. With that said, we also have to remember that concluding causation from correlation is not always a fallacy. It is a fallacy when causation is assumed without sufficient justification, without exploring other possibilities. Then it should be questioned. But concluding causation from correlation is also a key process of scientific method. The difference is that it's only accepted if it's accompanied by extensive research and analysis conducted with solid methodologies. And in this case, simply saying that correlation doesn't imply causation is not enough to question the conclusions of such research. To justify the questioning of the conclusions, one has to also consider the research methodologies. So, the key to recognizing whether this conclusion is a result of a fallacious thinking is to pay attention if it was reached without an honest consideration of other possibilities. And this lack of an honest consideration of other possibilities can happen especially in situations where motivated reasoning comes into play. If A or B represent something that people care about, then expect this fallacy to be committed left and right.